welcome back and uh, welcome to another video on another gymnosperm called netum the spelling of netum is g n e t u m g e silent here you must read it as netum netum is the only genus under the family netaceae it is a living fossil it's a tropical evergreen tree sometimes it's a shrub or it is a liana or a woody climber it is restricted to mostly tropical regions it is native to southeast asia and it is tropical in its habitat and the plant is very well differentiated into root system and shoot system and the shoot system is branch it, it looks like a mango tree the leaves also look like dicotyledonous leaves you can easily mistake it for a dicotyledonous plant because it is unlike the other gymnosperms because the leaves are ovate with a prominent midrib and the branches are also looking like the branches in case of a dicotyledonous plant netum is the first plant in which insect pollination was reported scorpion flies we used to pollinate the flowers netum is dioecious or sometimes it is monoecious male and female sex organs are produced on separate cones each cone has a stalk with cupules cup like structures called cupules within the cupules the microsporangia and megasporangia are present in the form of a wool the male reproductive organ almost looks like an angiosperm uh, angiosperm flower with perianth with uh, the with a stalk on the tip of which there are two sporangia thus it resembles a dicotyledonous plant in this video i'll explain the details about the living fossil called netum netum is a very interesting gymnosperm as it resembles angiosperms in many ways the plant is either a tree or a woody climber resembling the modern day dicots netum grows in tropics and it is a native of south asia they grow in india also netum has 40 species the two common indian species are netum neeman which is medium sized tree and netum ulla which is a liana or woody climber There are two types of branches, long and short shoots. Each branch contains nodes and inner nodes. In climbers, the branches of limited growth or short shoots are generally unbranched and bear the foliage leaves. Leaves are ovate and are arranged in opposite dicuzate manner with a prominent midrib. Young root has several layers of starch-filled parenchymatous cortex. Vascular bundles are dyarch and exarch. The secondary growth is of normal type. Tracheids, vessels and xylem parenchyma are present in the xylem. The young stem in transverse section is roughly circular in outline and resembles with a typical dicotyledonous stem. Several conjoint, collateral, open and end dark vascular bundles are arranged in a ring in the young stem. Vessels are present. presence of vessels is an angiospermic character the phloem consists of sieve cells and phloem parenchyma an extensive pith consisting of polygonal parenchymatous cells is present in the center of the young stem secondary growth is normal like in dicotyledons the primary cambium is short lived The secondary cambium in different parts of cortex develops in the form of successive rings, one after the other. Secondary growth is not normal in woody climbers. Eccentric secondary growth occurs dot in the later stages. More secondary xylem is produced on one side and less on the other side, and thus the eccentric rings of xylem and phloem are formed in the wood. Anatomically, The leaves of netum resemble those of dorsiventral dicot leaves. The epidermis has undulating walls covered with thick cuticle. The mesophyll is differentiated into palisade and spongy parenchyma. 3 to 4 vascular bundles present. The male flowers are arranged in definite rings above each collar on the nodes of the axis of male cone. The number of rings varies between 3 to 6. He male flowers in the rings are arranged alternately. Each male flower has two microsporangia at the tip. 
The female cones resemble with the male cones except in some definite aspects. A single ring of 4 to 10 female flowers or ovules is present just above each. Only a few of the ovules develop into mature seeds. All the ovules never mature into seeds. Each ovule consists of a nucellus surrounded of three envelopes. Nucellus consists of central mass of cells. The inner envelope elongates beyond the middle envelope to form the micropolar tube or style. Nucellus contains the female gametophytophyte. Scleriids and latticiferous cells are present in the two outer envelopes. The innermost third envelope remains fused with the nucellus at the base while its upper portion remains free and form the long micropolar tube or style. Insect pollination is seen in needum, which helps in carrying the pollen grains up to the micropolar tube of the ovule. The micropolar tube secretes a drop of fluid in which certain pollen grains get entangled and reach up to the pollen chamber. The male and female nuclei, after lying side by side for some time, fuse with each other and form the zygote. Cellular endosperm develops before fertilization. The embryo development occurs later and ovule is converted into seed. Thus it resembles a dicotinous plant. Thank you very much for watching my videos. Please like, share and subscribe. We'll meet again in the next video with some other topic. Thank you very much.